I'm Kieran Conway and you're watching Sports and Icons. Now it's been no secret that I've always been a massive fan of Cal Yafai for quite some time and I have been maybe a little drunk on Cal Yafai's performance over Lewis Conception to win the world title and I, and I always felt that Cal Yafai could mix it with these top guys and he wanted Chocolatito okay and first of all quite why Eddie Hearn matchroom in that didn't put Cal Yafai versus Chocolatito as a headliner in the UK I will never know. In fact, you take him to America and put him on an undercard on Achieve Support. That's madness. I can only presume it's down to money, right? Now, Cal Yafai, he's been Britain's longest serving champion. So you would think that he would get a little bit more of limelight than just being an undercard fighter, essentially. Now, he wanted to fight with Chocolatito. Chocolatito, um, you, you could argue, is kind of past his best. But I think a lot of people are looking at him going, well, he's 32 years old, so he must be past his best former pound for pound number one reigning top guy for quite some time, right? Um, until, of course, he got um, done, emphatically undone by Rungvasai, especially in their rematch. But again, Matthew Macklin, and, and, and I keep having to pull up Matthew Macklin on certain things that he's saying, that Cal Yafai, he needs to make the old man legs of 32-year-old Chocolatito. How is 32 years old old for a boxer that's not old what is Matthew Macklin talking about along with his scorecards I don't I don't get it with Matthew Macklin anyway so Cal Yafai he takes on Chocolatito it's a fight that a lot of us um, have been looking forward to and of course I've been staying up for because as I said I've always been a big believer in Cal Yafai but what his game plan was in this fight I have no idea I can only presume that he was a massive fan of Chocolatito and wanted Chocolatito to become a world champion again that's the only kind of tactic that I could possibly think of because Cal Yafai turned up and did very little to nothing in this fight. He's the bigger man. He's the younger man. He's the faster man. Well, maybe well, not the faster man. But what was his game plan? I have no idea whatsoever. None whatsoever. He shouldn't have been manhandled the way that he was against Chocolatito. This shouldn't have happened because Cal Yafai... He should be able to at least overpower him. But he didn't do anything. He threw very, very little punches in, in the entire fight. Did very little except soak up punishment. What was his game plan? I will never know. Chocolatito, fantastic. He reminds me of a, uh, um, a younger Diego Maradona for some reason. Every time I see him, he keeps on uh, reminding me of Maradona. But anyway, listen. Cal Yafai... He gets knocked out, okay? He gets knocked out, was it round number nine? I think it was, after getting dropped in round number eight as well. And you could see it coming. It's like Cali Fight had nothing in the tank. I can only presume something was wrong before the fight, something was wrong in camp. But I'm going to make excuses for him. He turned up. So you turned up and did nothing. Very, very little. You did nothing in this fight. I don't know what it was that he wanted. Was it just after a payday? As I said before, is he a massive fan of Chocolatito and just wanted to be in the same ring as Chocolatito and hand him a world title. So there you go, um, Roman. Here's another world title to add to your collection. Because that seemed to be what happened. Absolutely pathetic. Listen, I ain't going to say that to Roman Gonzalez um, should have been wiped out by, by Cali Fai. Not, not at all, but Cali Fai should have at least tried something. He should have at least give a good account of himself, even in parts. He never did. I couldn't give a round to Cal Yafai. Don't be wrong, there are a couple of close ones that maybe if some people wanted to give them to, to Yafai, I ain't going to argue with, but this was a clear domination for Roman Gonzalez. I'm actually embarrassed for Cal Yafai. I'm embarrassed for the fact that I've been supporting him for a long time and I've always believed in Cal Yafai. I don't mean to kick a man when he's down, not at all. But at the end of the day, he did nothing, absolutely nothing from the opening bell. Quite why he was trying to stand there and trade with uh, Chocolatito on the inside, I have no idea. Isn't that playing into the hands of Roman Gonzalez? Hasn't he been watching Roman Gonzalez? Your fire's a taller guy. Keep him at range. Move your damn feet. Couldn't do it. Anyway, is what it is. Cal Yafai gets knocked out by Chocolatito. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all in the next video.